All right. Hello, everybody. So there's a new Hearthstone set out today. And along with the new Hearthstone set that's out today, there's a number of adventures that are worth checking out that give free stuff. And we're going to check those out today. I already went and I was along with a friend of the show, Abyss Hunted and Omnicrom. Uh, they, they did the adventures a little earlier today, so I've seen what they have to offer. But I've got some ideas on what I want to do to finish them, which should be interesting. And I also want to show them all off to you because they were really fun. And I thought they were kind of funny. So uh, what we're going to do, um, we have a bunch of packs. We're not going to open those yet. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start things off with, uh, hmm, I could do pack opening first. That's not unreasonable. Pack opening is a pretty uh, short thing to do. And it would give people time to f file in and not miss the adventures. Let's do that first. That sounds good. Good idea. So hello to uh, Prison Art, uh, Jelly Omelette, Cody Waffles, Fractal Sandwich, Cuboid, Banist. Good to see you all here. So we got Knights of the Frozen Throne. Nice. So we're going to go ahead and open up. Never spend more than half your money, so we're going to buy 29 packs. Uh, I think there's a button that lets me... Uh, yeah. Uh, um... Is it right-clicking here? I know there's a button that lets me do this. By the time I figure it out, I will have purchased too many things. Ooh. Uh, I know that there's a place in here that I can change the number of packs I am buying. I hate interfaces. Uh, oh boy, that was not what I wanted. Oh, heck. Alright, there we go. Pile of packs. So we've spent, we have not spent more than half our money. We have 35 packs. So let's go ahead and jump on in. Let's see what we open. Actually, uh, just for this part, I'm going to turn things down. We'll turn it back up when we get to the adventures. Devour Mind. Okay. Nothing huge in here. I'm honestly most interested in a lot of the top end stuff in this. The, the Frost Heroes, of course. Nice. Interesting. I don't know if there's enough things to work with Drakari Enchanter. Tuskar Fisherman is a card I'm sure I'm going to be seeing a lot of, it being a neutral 2 for the arena. Spellweaver in a... Keening Banshee. This is a magic card for black, black, and two. It's a 2-2 two -two flyer from Ravnica that when it comes into play, you can give minus two, minus two to a creature until end of turn. <coughs> that card's a good arena card. So we should have a legend in the first ten packs, and then from there, we'll, we'll see how things go. I think is what the, the words were. I guess the Conjurer. Get in. Oh, there we go. Professor Putricide and two bear sharks. Secrets. Pile of secrets, huh? Yeah, alright. At the very least, the thing has a decent stat line and, like, free card advantage. So. And keep on rolling. I think we're gonna start seeing dust pretty quick. Good old bear sharks. Ooh, what do we got here? Oh, FX Punisher. I don't like this. I don't, this is very strange because it's not a goons card, but it is, it's a goons card. Alright, Ticking Abomination. Yep, yep. Righteous Protector is a good one. Rolling them bones, shallow grave digger. The more I think about this set, the more top heavy I think it is, in the sense that like a lot of the like the the cards that are going to be like the deck building ones are not the rares. It's literally the legends again that are are heavily influencing uh, deck building. Uh, 
There is a way to open packs without dragging them, but I'm not doing it. Because it's like, I think it's shift clicking or something like that. Nice walker. More bear sharks. I like bear shark a lot. What else we got here? Hey, snow flipper penguin. Woo, look at this penguin. Uh, Drakari Defender, which, like, if you squint, looks like a Death Lord. Really heavy overload. That scientist is going to be really annoying in the arena. I'm certain that's a good card. We got penguins. And another Drakari interest. I've got two of those now. All right. Crypt Lord. Cold Wraith. Strong card. Snow Trucker. We miss you. I miss you. I don't know if everybody else misses you, but I miss you. Freeze all your other minions. Mo Mountain Fire Armor Strong. This is a good, like, stat line plus a strong ability. I like it. Avalanche. Scavenger. Alright. Bolster on a body. Blood Worm. Been impressed with lifesteal from the little bit I've seen. I will always be chugging... Chugging along in our hearts, chugga chugga. Golden common skeleton. Mix skeletons. We're gonna see some good skeletons. There's some good skeletons in this set. There's some really good skeletons in this set, so trust. Alright, Crypt Lord. Defile. Defile's I think a pretty strong card. But yeah, good skeletons in this set. And not, I don't just mean the legends that are Death Knights. I don't even know if Death Knights are skeletons. Like, are you a skeleton if you're... Oh, here's a strong skeleton. Bone Mare is a card you're going to be seeing a lot of in the arena. Blessing of Kings on a minion. Yeah, Despicable Dreadlord, one of the best Warlock cards in the set. Uh, assume whenever I say something like that, I'm not. I'm just uh, ignoring the, 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 the heroes, because those are very clearly some of the strongest in the set. Rune Forge Haunter. This has some really nifty infinites with it and a lot of powerful control along with it. I think it's not a good one with a poison a poisoned weapon. And Oh yes, okay. Obsidian statue is my pick, my card that I've said. Uh I think this is the strongest card in the set. Uh again, barring the the, the Death Knight class cards. I am blown away by how strong Obsidian Statue looks in my eyes. Like, there's a lot of boards that you can play Obsidian Statue on that no other card could save you other than, like, maybe Primal Evil Drake. And also it has Death Rattle, so it comes back from Nazoth. Nazoth will bring this back later in the game. It has, like, Taunt and Lifesteal means if they're not killing it with removal, you're probably gaining, like, 8 or 12 life. And if they can't kill it, oh boy. And if they, and even if they do kill it, they lose their... It's... I love it. That's mine. Like, my pick right there for best card, asterisk, in the set. Because, like, I think maybe, like, the Paladin uh, Death Knight is actually the strongest. We'll see. I don't know. Paladin Death Knight is a good one. There's a lot of good Death Knights. I like the Mage one a lot. A couple rares. Desperate Sand. This is a very desperate sta stand. This, this is not a very powerful stand. This is, like, Spirit Inheritance. Is that the, what this is? I'm going to say what that, that's what this card is. is Spirit Inheritance. I like that this looks like a little plus sign there, so it looks like it says 12 plus for packs I have left. Avalanche. Yep, Bone Mare. This is going to be a very powerful arena card because it's a Blessing of Kings plus Taunt on a body. And by that, I mean it's 18 points of power and toughness. Ruby and Unraveler. Ooh, I kind of like having the Mind Breakers. These are things I'm pro I might make use of in the upcoming adventures. Blood. 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 Look at the blood going into her. So, uh... This is... What I call this card is I call Blood Queen, Queen Lanethel an extremely strong card in a very poor archetype. I don't think that the, that discard is a strong archetype, but I think the card is good. If that makes sense to you. Anyway... 
I won't be disenchanting that. <laughs> what a pack! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, so we got Blood Reaver Gul'dan. Uh, the, the hero power on Blood Reaver Gul'dan is 3 damage with lifesteal. Uh, so that's strong. Um, also the very powerful, uh, battle cry. So, you know, that's, that's really good stuff. This one's a little harder to use. <laughs> uh, as like, it, you need to find a way to kill it without it dying, without like, you know, with traddling, triggering that death rattle. But that's a lot of taunt that's going to come up when this dies. So, <clears throat> decent pack. That one was all right. As for those two back to back with a gold, like out of ten cards, golden legend and two legend, decent. I'm gonna call that okay. Like you know, like on the on the the right side of the bell curve. Spectral pillager, uh, which is so you know those like Hearthstone videos that you see that are like a. Uh, somebody playing saxophone over Edwin Van Cleef happening because that's like a thing in the Hearthstone community. You're going to see a bunch of those videos except for it's Spectral Pillager now. So. Uh, no per Q, I've been told that you can't duplicate on your free one. I don't know how like where that's from, but I've been told from multiple people, and I'm willing to, to to see if it happens. Because if it happens to me on stream, I can save other people from having it happen to them. You know, then I can have video proof. So, golden rare, and I you know so I can at least I can perform a service in that way. Fandom freebooter, I. Oh, nice. Okay. Scourge Lord Garrosh. Uh, so the thing that we don't see here on Garrosh is that Garrosh's hero power is Whirlwind, just casting Whirlwind. Um, and Shadow Morn is a very powerful weapon. So this is, this is, this is strong. Gordon Common. Nice breaker. Yes, okay, more mountain fire armor. I'm I'm all on that one. Hey, go oh okay, take a look at the ticking abomination. Watch that. Watch this. Boom, 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 boom. There's like these waves that come out. Breakdown, breakdown. It's a breakdown, breakdown. Fate Spinner. Nice. What was my legend in my first 10? Uh, that was the uh, Secretist. Uh, the P Professor Putricide? I think it was Professor Putricide is the name of that card. Anyway, so now that we've opened packs, let's go ahead and jump on in. So we're going to go into the solo adventures, and we're going to show these off. Uh, oh, dear. So we need to turn up the game volume. So the Lich King's going to talk here, and hopefully that's audible to you. All right. Let me know if it isn't. Ice crown, come for the terrible power. Stay, because you're dead. But, buddy, do you need a lozenge or something? Come for the terrible power. I can't even do a fake voice like that. <laughs> like, oh, that's actually wrong. I could do a fake voice like that if it, if it was like six months ago and I had my my uh my my that voice problem after Magfest this year. Anyway, let's jump on an ice crown. 
They aren't doing any more adventures, but they're doing mini adventures with new sets. So there's no, like, guaranteed cards behind these in the sense of, like, you can only get them in the adventure. But, uh... Oh, thank you for the bits, Keyblade. <laughs> thank you very much. So you can't get any... You, you, there's not, like, uh, guaranteed cards in the sense that they're not in the set, but there are guaranteed cards behind this. So... I love this adventure, by the way. It's really fun. Start things off. It's the Lich King. Come, champion. I will annihilate you and disenchant you for arcane dust. There's no reason to be rude, bud. Like, you don't need to disenchant me. If you disenchant me, you could get another copy of me, and that'd be annoying. Alright, so they've got a hero power that makes a 2-2 ghoul. Undead army must be stopped. Let's go. Alright, right on in. So this is a this is an adventure here that has a, a built... You don't build a deck for it. This is like a little prelude. Kind of like the Medivh one, where you're, you're given a specific deck and playing a thing. So It's also really cool. Pointing sword menacingly. Use your cards carefully. You have been dealt your last. Alright, um... I don't think these are very good here. Let's go ahead and, uh... We'll, we'll get rid of all these and see if we can get some early game. Hmm... All right, buddy. Hello. Your pleas for mercy ring hollow. My magic will tear you apart. Your pleas for mercy ring hollow. So we have a we have a a, a new board here that we saw a couple days ago, actually, with uh, the chain here that opens up the door. Skeleton, we can wake up. Turn on the coals. End your turn so that I can end you. And then we got this here, which we can kind of crack open. And it has. Oh! Nice. Anyway, moving along. Have no fear, champion. We are on our way. Alright. Tyrion's on on their way. All right. Hmm. <laughs> That's my opener. Decent. This isn't even my aggressive deck. That's all right. Okay, so. Almost there. How are things going? Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tyrion, things are fine. Don't worry about it, Tyrion. Uh, so, uh, you know, that's fine. Um. We've got some ghouls to deal with. Uh, I think we can start working them down, though. So, let's just start there. And, like, if we get to Leroy, there's no downside on Leroy now. So, that's good. None can save you. My power is absolute. <laughs> Your ranking will suffer. We'll be here. Thanks, Tyrion. D don't worry, I'll be fine. I got uh, Meg. I'm serious right now. <laughs> you too will serve. <laughs> All right. Um. Okay, so we got a Magma Rager. That's good. That's good. Um. Yeah, we probably need that. Just about ready to... 
<laughs> well, th thanks, Tyrion. Oh, don't! It it, it gets better. So this is Frost Lich Jaina, which is her uh, Death Knight card in the set, uh, which does have the hero power deal damage, summon a water elemental. This is the actual power of the hero card uh, in the set. So this isn't like a made up thing. So, uh, well, we just have to beat up Tyrion. And he summons one ones, which we get to kill with our hero power. Uh, this is the hero power from uh, Just Card True Heart updated on a paladin. Let's go ahead and start things off. Uh, mm-hmm, yep. Alright, so here's their rogue. Um, deals no damage while attacking. Little, just nothing. That's fine. All right, that's fine. I think. I... Where are my heels? Why aren't you taunting? <laughs> <laughs> and here we have the terrible tank, who is a a warrior in uh, wielding dual clubs uh, without taunt and asking for heals. So uh, we're going to ignore their tank, uh, and we're going to draw a card because something's frozen. All right, and then we got the needy hunter. That's good. That's good. Um, well, we should probably get rid of that. Like, we don't want the, the hunter to be around. Uh, we can we can definitely ignore the tank though. Let's ignore the tank. <laughs> so then we have AFK. Uh, who is... Uh, she's eating a donut and uh, a muffin. And there's like a dragon in the background. It's nice. And then we can still ignore the, the tank. And then our opponent plays Total Field Deep. I'm going to need some better adventurers. <laughs> I'm going to let this keep going to see how long it goes. Okay, it looks like at this point they're out of scripted plays. For duty. Yeah, it looks like they're out of scripted plays. So, what I'm going to do, we're going to kill Tyrion with our hero power and see if we get our water elemental. I want it. 
Oh. And then Tyrion hurts away. Yeah. All right, and ooh! Speaking of, we get Frostless Jaina. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, Tyrion bubble hearts away. Yeah. Sadly, you you don't get the elemental from the the hero power. I wish it gave it to you off the hero kill because that'd just be funny for a water elemental to pop out when you kill the hero. Um, you. You don't get whichever one you used because Jaina's the only one I've seen. And I in a previous stream we did see Rexar come out of this one, so. That'd be really cool though if you got the one you used. That'd be excellent. Okay, Lich King's gonna be hard. Sure. Ice Crown Citadel. A collection of my most hideous minions. Crafted not with dust, but with hate. I. So I built this hideous bone amalgamation from the grisly remains of my duplicate cards. So our buddy Lord Maronar here has skeletal reconstruction. Heal your hero to full health. So, uh. I think we're gonna build a deck for it. Let's quick go build the deck for for heal your hero to full, for free every turn. What I'm gonna do? Hmm. Let's try theft. I want the circle of healing. We're gonna do the, uh, oh, uh, this deck needs to be wild as well. You can do wild in these and you should. It lets you play more cards. Uh, we want Akni Soul Priest and we're gonna try doing this. So Akni, I kinda wanna include uh, Song Stealer. Some sort of theft things are what we're going to want. What twos do we want? Radiance. I think Radiance are always a good two. Uh, <laughs> you know how to do inner fire things? Try doing inner fire things. Inner fire things seems like a good way to deal lethal damage in one hit, you know? We'll do the doubler, and that'll be a really good way to just deal 30, because we need to kill our opponent from full. So. Let's. Shadow Priest. Maybe not two, but at least one. I'll play my Obsidian Statue. That card's really good. I'm just going to play it. Um, I think... Oh, uh, w the other thing we're going to do in this matchup is... Mind? I think it's Mind Breaker. Hero powers are disabled. So, we'll try that. Uh, we're also going to put a little bit more theft into the deck, I think. Shadowward Pains seem okay. And so we want the light spawns and maybe a priest of the feast. Do I own Lyra? I don't actually own Lyra, do I? Hmm. It's a bit of an annoyance, isn't it? 
Let's... Yeah. Cabal, Courier. That's just a card I like playing in Priest. And people are saying... People are mentioning something cool with it as well. And... Maybe like a light bomb or a, an exploding. Where's? Let's go with a light bomb. Okay. Now uh, this is this is a work in progress, and we'll see how it plays out. Ice crown. Might need a little bit early control elements, but we'll see. Um, custom priest. So, fighting against bones. Bone, bone, bone. Anduin versus Lord Marogar. The light shall bring victory. None may enter the master's sanctum. I. Okay. Born to be bone. Greetings. You fool. <laughs> I have no ears. <laughs> Sandbone trio. Hey, hey, you want to buy a funnel cake? All right. up one. We'll do this. Ooh, alright. Blood Mage. So we'll trade off. We'll play out our Cabal Courier. Let's see what fake cards we get. That's not a fake card at all. Tomb Pillager is quite real. Nice. Hmm. Oh, nice huckster. All right. Well, careful. Didn't expect that. That's fine. Bust him. Okay. Sludge Belcher. I can deal with Sludge Belchers. That's not too bad. Okay. Ugh. Brintol the Bone Arbiter. That sucks. That's quite powerful. Thank you. 
Thanks, Ubal Courier. You're a friend. Okay, you get a bunch of coins. That's okay. Kill that. And, like, what? Face the rest? No. Alright. Hmm. Okay. Hero powers are disabled. That's good. I think I'm gonna heal up, beat up this, and then... <coughs> like... Shadow Word this, and then start building the rest of my board up. That seems good to me. So heal up. Beat this down. Shadow Word. And let's... Play with the Mind Breaker here. Maybe, maybe they'll double hit it. Okay, that's fine. I like... Oh, okay. So, Bone Spike here, re like, reminds me of, uh, playing against, or fighting Ifrit, where you just have to beat up the nail in, in, uh, in FF14. And I'm sure is a relevant part of the fight. Like, this fight. You could know what? Boo! Boo, I say! What? Come on! How illegal can you get? Whatever. All right, boss. Not even reacting to it? Oh, I'm disappointed in you. Um, I think I'm gonna have to light bomb to kill the spike, because the spike does 15 to you if you don't kill it. Wait, mine's still on. So this card just doesn't function. That I'm... I'm sad about this. So the card's like non-functional? Taunt someone a bit. Copy. That's that's rude. I'm gonna call that rude. Oh god, another bone spike. Uh hmm. Hmm. I don't have a way of dealing with that. That's bad. Let's... Alright, come on, Melganis. That is not Melganis. Getting owned by Bone. Okay. Oh, there we go. Pfft. Turn late, but you know, that's what I was looking for. the one ones. I'll just take this off the table. Boom. 
Game Store. Okay, no, I get it. I can kill that. I can kill that. Bone Store. So, Frostlich, Jaina. Check this out. This is going to be really good, by the way. So. Do not fear power. Fear those who wield it. So. Yes. Embrace your faith. <laughs> Heed the master's call. You're shivering. Are you afraid? You fool! <laughs> I have no ears. <laughs> so I have lifelink on my elementals. All of my elementals, including this one, Frostless Jaina, is granting your elementals life steal. <laughs> Oh my god, it's getting more bone storm. Okay. Skeleton. 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 Coin. Skeleton! 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 Thanks, skeleton. Bone storm. Bone storm. Hey, that's my cake. Hey, that's my cake. Bone storm. I think I'm just gonna fatigue him. Oh, they drew two cards off it. Storm. Okay. Let's get some cards. Is this gonna steal a mage card now? Hey, that's my cake. I think it's gonna steal a mage card now. Because I'm a mage. Storm. Oh, oh, mage, <coughs> mage cards, right? Those are big. Don't do that. Hey, that's my cake. This card's really good right now. I can play it and ping it and get the death rattle out of the exploding bo bo bloat bat. Sure, Jaina. All right, so now I get to find something else out. Will it silence off the lifesteal? It will not! Okay.
because the life steals being granted. Another bone spike. Oh! <laughs> are you ready? Are you are you ready? There's no way you're ready, my friend. Let me change your mind. And there we go. That's how we win. Storm Skelly. <laughs> the master's rage courses through me. <laughs> bone Storm. I must craft a new bone amalgamation. Maybe a golden one. Thanks, Jaina. I feel really good about that. We got to do a bunch of science. We learned about how Jaina works. We got to gain 30 life. Weird how I, how as a priest I was dying. And then when I became a mage, I went up to 30 again. That's, is that strange? That's weird. I just became a, hmm, anyway. Deathbringer Sourfang was my first legendary minion. I built this whole adventure around him. Blood rune can only take damage from weapons. So our buddy here, Deathbringer Sarfang, is we have to hit with blood. So we're gonna go build another deck. Now uh, this one's gonna be. Do I own the card I need for this? Damn, I don't. <clears throat> Auto Barber. We're definitely doing Vile of Poison. Not the first, yeah, not the first time I've thrown dust in the garbage for an adventure. Won't be, certainly won't be the last. You're damn right. Ooh, uh, actually, hold on. I got a new card I can add to this. Uh, Runeforge Haunter. Your weapon doesn't lose durability. Um, we'll put in what the one leeching poison I own. I'm also going to play the Shadow Blade I have. And Assassin's Blade? Tinkers, South Sea. And the rest is going to be control pieces. So, uh, the rest is just going to be like control y pieces for this. Uh, uh, ooze? Do I not own... That's fine, I can deal with that. Oh, that sucks, uh, Red Eye. I, I remember having to use Century Link for a while and having problems with them. I, hopefully it's something you overcome. Um... Uh, 
Always like Skulker as control goes. Uh, SI7 as far as control goes. Oh, okay. Thank you, PA. Anduin's a pretty cool one. The, the, the power on that one's nice. They're all, honestly, they're all quite good. Yeah. That would rule if it did, if it was something, if it was just, like, gives you a class card that you have, that, like, you like or something like that. Because I got, uh... Like, the mage one was the one, is the one I have the most decks built for. Um... And let's go, like, hold on, what's my top? I need you to go, like, legendary and put in some top end for this deck. We don't want Shaku. Theft isn't going to help in this match. Um, Medivh gives a weapon. Nefarian, no. No. Alexstrasza doesn't matter. Do I own green skin? I don't. Put in Harrison Jones. Yeah, it's on the board. Just, just the ones in play, it doesn't, like, kill your opponent's whole deck or something like that. Which would be, uh, silly. Can you still buy Explorer Scenarios? They brought back, uh... I think you can, but you have to... You, only through, like... I think only on, like, the Battle.net site? It's weird. Come and face the might of the Scourge. Yeah, only via cash on Blizzard site. There it is. Here we are. Poison Blade is here. All right. So this is the game plan. We're going to use Poison Blade to kill our opponent. By the might of the Lich King. Yeah, if you own the adventure, I think you can still buy parts of it. Alright, I get it. You like fiery war axes. Alright. So, Poison Blade! That is the card we're going to be using to win this. So, blood for blood. That's an annoyance. Quite annoying. Yeah, there's no heroics on these. It's just uh, what you see. Okay, and we're playing a bit of control here, which sucks. That was what we call bad ordering, too, wasn't it? That was me b making bad plays. 
That's fine. We'll, we'll deal. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna have to take some damage for this. How much? I can bypass that. That's fine. There we go. Hello. Perfect. Is this gonna die? Yeah, okay. That's fine. I think I'm okay with that. beast. I wonder if I want to play a weapon. Yeah, I figured they'd play more. You know? Clearly I was wrong. They got a trade. No? That's actively harmful to me. Yeah, this card isn't very good in this matchup I'm seeing. Also, yeah, my opponent just doesn't have weapons, so, like, this was clearly a mistake. Yeah, let's go fix that. Clearly these aren't right, and clearly the Dark Iron Skulker isn't. So, let's go fix up the deck a little bit, because the removal suite needs a little bit better cards to be able to function as is. Keep Harrison. I'm going to create a common. I'm going to open 16 more times, or we're going to do it anyway. <coughs> um.
Sap's what I want. Any tar creepers? And... We don't want a theft from them. That doesn't do anything. Maybe just a flat assassinate. Alright. Jump back in. Let's just play it a little smarter, I think. I made a couple mistakes that cost me some life. Uh, eviscerate's pretty big here. I need to be able to eviscerate uh, the, the two fours that they play. Maybe backstab's bad in here, too. That might be true. Okay. If I keep a tar creeper. Come and face the might of the scourge. Yeah, that's that's a, that's a warrior card. Okay, cool. Eviscerate. Eviscerate's kind of necessary to deal with that thing they have that heals. Job's done. Oh, nice. That'll be really good here. Because I'm just going to play Tark Reaper then. Sinister Strike gives, does three damage to the opponent. I think you're thinking of something else. Oh my god. Wait, my... Whoa. Okay. Uh... Count me in. Here we go. Oh. It's time for a lot of blood. Here we go. I can't play it. I have an axe. <laughs> Let's just crush it. I'm hollering about the Anubis. Okay. That's fine. It's too late. I am already hollering about the Anubis. Give me a two drop. Okay, gotta kill the Blood Beast. Which I'll be able to do. Honestly, thinking I might want to kill this instead. I'm okay with this. Okay, more blood beast. More blood beast. All right. Blood beast. Blood beast. Blood beast. Blood beast. Blood beast. Alright. <laughs> blood, 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 No! Well, I still get your guy. That's fine. But no! Alright, let's just keep it going. More blood. 
and a war axe. By the might of the Lich King. Dang, I can't get this off the table again now. It's an annoyance. I need to draw a real thing against this. Working out. Like, I need to draw. Like, we can't get through, and we're just gonna. Okay, then we need to draw Taunt. That should do. I don't think this plan's working. What's wrong? There must be a missing piece to it. I just wanted to pump Poison Blade like 20 times and kill my opponent. One. Oh, no, we die. Okay. <sighs> Face the might of the scourge. Hmm. Ah! So this guy doesn't have any weapons. I don't like having any of the. I don't like the. I don't like any of the, the killers for those. This guy doesn't have enough weapons for that. Yeah. I don't like the backstabs. The raiders don't hold the board. I need better ways to hold the board. That's like just not something that this class is good at. Oh, well, we're in wild. Let's play sludge belt. Oh, wait, we're in wild. Hmm, I've been doing this wrong the whole time, haven't I? I've been thinking with a standard mindset and not a not a uh, different mindset. Whoops. Uh like we're playing very underpowered cards. Dun 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 It's been a while since I've played Sludge Belcher. Okay. And I want the other Assassinate in here, and I think I also want... two of these. Uh, instead of... Yeah. Let's try this. All right. Round three. Yeah, Sludge Belcher, that standard legal card. I remember when that one that one is played in a lot of the standard legal decks that I've played against. Come and face the might of the Scourge. Uh, 
you just going straight for the healing start? Uh, that's an eviscerate target if I've ever seen one. No. Or I just hit it with my face for four. That's fine, too. I can take that four. Here we go. So, this right here is the reason I stuck the Stonehill Defenders in, is because I wanted to include a, uh, a bunch of Sludge Belchers in the deck. That's it. That's the entire reason I put this card in the deck, is so that I can discover more Sludge Belcher. That's it. Oh, I feel good. So. Okay. Probably getting my Assassinate. Uh, you're just killing this, right? Yeah. Okay. I can just play control for a while. Shatter Strike plus Face will deal with that. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Yep. So we're doing it this way. Okay, that's getting an eviscerate. Those are both getting it. Oh, actually, I don't need to eviscerate this. Really? <laughs> Excuse me? Theon draws a card. So sweet. Alright, we're gonna make a big old assassin's blade now. <laughs> this seems good. Sure. And then we're gonna hide Runeforge Haunter behind Taunt. I must remain hidden to remain free. Here we go. This seems like a good place to be. <laughs> you are trying, my friend. You are trying very hard. You found the real target there. That's fine. I'm just gonna keep sixing you from here on in. Here we go. And have a wall of taunt, and you're empty-handed. So this is this is where we wanted to be. I'm at 30. We have a poisoned blade. We're gonna win with the poisoned blades that I created that I'm not using. Nice. What a good place to be. Use. <laughs> Okay, I can just beat that in combat. Here we go. Ah, this guy's toast. Perfect. 
Well, I'm going to get to kill my opponent with the poison blades I created, at least. So, that's nice. Hey. Hey, lights out. Give me my card. Spider! And we got there. All right. This is Lady Death Whisper. Before she got nerfed. <laughs> so, Lady Death Whisper has Whisper of Death, damage all enemy minions until they have one health. Uh, yeah. You know, I'm just going to go in and show you this one before... Uh, like doing anything with it you know let's l let me show you this one are people still making heroes references in the year of our lord 2017 it looks like it Looks like it, my friend. So, here's the trick to what we're playing against. Our opponent has 120 health. Help me, champion. I must not give in. So this is uh, the Dreamwalker. If it can be attacked or attack or be attacked well damaged so you need to heal this is giant quest uh huzzah so very unlikely to be able to win this Death whisper i told you to finish off that dragon for the leader of a death cult you are taking your sweet time Alright, what, what's your start? Haunted Creeper. I don't care. Hmm. Doomsayers might not be the best against that hero power. Do we lose if the dragon dies? No, we just do not have the power of the dragon anymore. <laughs> Which we really don't anyway. Alright, what's our grab? I feel like Convert might matter more here. They might have something worth stealing, some sort of boss monster. You know, theft against these decks generally tends to be pretty good. Oh, thank god, that's Dark Cultist, not uh, Cabal Talon Priest. Can you taunt the dragon when it's damage to stop enemy attacks, or does it have taunt stealth? I believe it taunts stealths. I'm not certain, though. I haven't tried it. Maybe we'll find a way to do it. Here's our giant. Let's play Glyph. Take my mulligan. Let's play Glyph. I need to find a Frost Nova to make this work. It's a bit of an annoyance, isn't it? Like, I don't actually have the Frost Nova to make that work. We're not doing enough board presence here, so this might end up... There we go. Oh. Well, let's see if this functions. If they have a if they have Shadow Word, we're, we're out, but... We'll see. Hopefully they don't. Uh... Yes. A plus. Uh, eight, so I can play Cabalist Tome just fine. 
I don't want to ice block. Job done. Okay, no more dragon. You smell like a leopard, no. Sure. doesn't really have any, like, huge control options. They're just playing normal cards. Okay, there's something, at least. But, like, they don't even have, like, boss cards like most of these things. Like, I'm just gonna play normal control and see how this works. And then, like, just use Alexstrasza and try to beat down with that. Like, maybe that'll work. Forbidden shaping for a giant? I am the boy. For nine. I am your master. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I know she's got a looming presence. Problem is, I'm gonna fatigue first. Well, she has anti Alex tech and the fact that she has 89 armor. Uh, that's a bit of an annoyance, I guess. Ugh. Is that. Okay, that's not so bad. Frost Nova? You do have a Shadow Word pain. Oh, that's a good final card to have. Hmm. Well, that's bad. I probably don't have good ways to board wipe anymore. Yeah, this is the last one, Arbolt. This is just me showing it off. Which is why I'm playing with a deck that is not tuned to actually fight fight it rather than something real. I just burned my quest. Alright, let's <clears throat> let's let's move on. So let's go do the silly thing. I forgot that that was the Cabalist Tome made by a Cabalist Tome rather than the Cabalist Tome that I drew. Alright, so with that deck, um, yeah, if my quest mage was Exodia quest mage rather than the giant wincon, uh, it easily could just win it by f casting fireball 90 times. Like, that deck can win from any number. Um... 
I'm thinking here. Because, like, the obvious one is Priest, but I'm trying to think of unobvious ones. Yeah, this is the first uh, wing of it. Sword's always good. I'm going to try something silly here. So the idea is we're going to like do some odd ways of attacking with our with our buddy um i think that's all we oh right here's all right lord Tyrion, and such land hands And where's the buff I wanted? Did I put it? No, I didn't put this in here. Dang. Mm hmm. Let's see if we can go for the one hit wonder. I'm missing something. That's what I'm missing. Does that give me anything that I like? I don't think it does. I guess mustard. Yeah, who needs wild cards? So, we'll jump back in. We're going to do this in a... Uh, so, the normal way I've seen people do this, and I figure is intended, it even says after you lose, is like priest with healing effects to put it up to five health and make it attack, and then it goes back down. Or with silence effects that make it so it just doesn't have text. We're going to make it have one health. Yeah, this is the right deck. There's the adaptation. Bad opener, though. These two don't do anything in my opening.
Hmm. Sure. Sure. Yeah, I'm trying to adapt Wind Fury onto it as the play. We're going. We're hoping for a one-shot kill if possible. Looking like it's definitely possible. Double its attack, give it Wind Fury, and then 60. So. You just gotta stick around for that long. Here we go. <laughs> All we gotta do is make it long enough. <laughs> yeah, she cannot attack it because it has, while it's damaged, it cannot be attacked. Uh oh, taunt. Uh-oh. Hmm. That's bad. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Don't worry. We equality and then the one one does the job. Uh-huh. No, I don't care. That has... I don't care. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yep. Don't care. Check it out. <laughs> Are you ready? So then... That is not the good idea you think it is. Oh, I, I disagree. Respectfully. And then all the text fails and we win. I'm so happy. <laughs> it's a one hit KO. You seek to turn my power against me. Uh, hold fast while I net deck something that will forever shroud this world in darkness. Oh, well, that was exactly what I wanted out of it. Let's go ahead and open our final pack. Another desperate stand. <laughs> that is not the good idea you think it is. Hmm. All right. I'm glad that I'm glad that I got that plan to function for the one hit KO. So uh, that's gonna be all for tonight. Uh, as we, I just wanted to do the, uh, I just wanted to do the solo adventure. We're gonna do the arena that we have sitting in the pocket at a later time, uh, probably tomorrow before uh, La Milana, something like that. But tonight, I think I am done with this, so uh, thank you all for joining. I hope you all enjoyed this, and I hope you all, uh, you can go ahead and try this out yourself, of course. This is, this is unlike the other adventures, um, you know, the whole thing is free, uh, unlike some of them where it was just like the first wing or the prologue. So if you want to go ahead and give this a try, you got some silly ideas for it, or you just want to experience the, uh, you know, uh, the opening that is a, a joke about MMOs, go ahead and do it. So, um, yeah, this was really good. Um, I look forward to playing more, playing the arena with the new cards and doing some deck building with it. Um, so yeah, if you like this stuff, uh, I recommend following because this is the most common thing you'll see on the stream is me playing cards. Uh, if you really want to support the channel, you can go ahead and do that through subscribing. It's really cool. It gets you a really good skull emote. It's gonna, it, it's great. Um, that's all for tonight. Uh, have a good night, everybody.